Hello everyone and welcome to your second Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial Creating a project In this tutorial we will discuss about creating a project different aspects related to creating a project and the introduction window So let's start As soon as you start your Adobe Premiere Pro this screen comes up now this is a welcome screen and will come up every time you start your Premiere Pro. This screen contains recent projects that you have been working on currently over here. Since I have only one project it is showing only one. Down here is the new project, open project and help. Now by open project you already know that if you click on that you can open any project that you have been working on recently and that you have saved it. Moving on to the new project. Now, this button is used to create a new project or to start a new campaign whatever you might be working on. So let's click on the new project icon over here. Left click on it and then the second welcome window opens up. Now let's start on this window over here we have a general and scratch disk preferences scratch disk is for advanced users so let's just leave it at there let's go to the general tab and let's see what we have here the first thing is the action and title safe areas now, action and title safe areas are those areas which are sure to not to be get cut off from the screen. Now whenever we export a producer video it has small margins. So There are two margins that exist. The first is the action safe and the second is the title safe. Now the action safe is the area inside of which all the actions in your movie will not get cut off and the title safe area is the area inside of which you can view all of your titles and be sure that they will not be cut off from the screen sometimes when we export our video to television or any other media what happens is the corners of the video get cut sometimes so in order to prevent any important data getting cut from the screen action and title safe areas are present so action and title safe areas always be sure to leave them at the default of 20% 20% of horizontal and vertical and type action safe area is 10% horizontal and vertical now the next thing is the display format the display format comes in four variations time code feet plus frames 16 millimeter feet plus frames 35 millimeter and frames we will talk about these in the next tutorial and also the display format for now we will talk about the location and name the location is the location of the files of premiere where they are going to be saved the main thing that you have to ensure is that wherever this location exists you have a lot of disk space available in that area because Premiere Pro renders the files and all the media that we play back and then it keeps it there and because of the phenomena and the working type of Premiere Pro it needs a large number of free space. So make sure that the location is always set to a space where you have at least 10 GB of free space to ensure smooth working of your software. And the name as you all know it is the name we will give to our project. So let's give it tutorials and then we will just leave it at that. So guys that's it for this tutorial. We will learn more in the later tutorials. Thank you for watching.